This game is called Getting Overs. Now it is <laughs> very, very <coughs> annoying. And I would not recommend it to anyone that is angry at the moment. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. <laughs> if you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of bee games. And bee games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a bee game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly now, games of its time. Already played this game. In it, your task is simply to drag it, yourself so up a mountain with a hammer. If I go this game, that really act of climbing vastly. in the digital yeah. world or in not, real life has beginner. certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. Game, so. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Mm. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree now, that blocks the way to the entire to rest of the game. Part. The next it might take you an hour to get over that over tree. Building, a lot of people never got past it. Which you prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach you and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method. This is my least favorite part in the, just by spending enough time. this game. In that sense, where you have to every get pixelated up obstacle up in sexy the, hiking um, is real. This rail right here, and get over this part. The and obstacles in sexy hiking. It just takes a while to learn and that how makes the to game do it. And but I'm not so sure Jezzo you have to get to you get used to it. The frustration if is just essential to the act of climbing, here, so and it's successful. authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. So as you'll see, I do thing happened to me as I was part, building this mountain. you have to be very calm I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build just it, very, it and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably actual, hard. You will not get on top of this ledge. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. And always it already keep felt the like my hammer onto to get past it, the new obstacle. so you can get on. was my fault, as a player, rather than as a builder. As you'll see in a little bit. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. So this part is called in the context Orange of technology, Hill. It those is pass by very seconds. hard to get past. It is very hard. 
So over time, basically, there's gonna be more rocks, more and this they're, vast digital they're gonna get steeper every rock, in every fast rock slash boulder. So as fresh, you'll see, and and now there's all there's two ways, but us is cultural trash. you can go up this thing the thing very fast, which you're probably the lingua not gonna get of the digital very far. But you you're going to have to be very, but only trash culture. Very B games, B movies, slow music, B slow. As you can see, I'm just barely tapping. Maybe this is what digital like culture is. Thing. Now I'm not going to succeed here, trash, but the ash heap of creativity's fountain, a landfill with everything we I'm ever still, thought of. I'm still getting this Grand, <laughs> infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast, Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash now, right epic here, fail gifs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, well, get your discarded, hand right forgotten, sling yourself, unrecycled, yourself on top of the ledge up there, rotten, or you can untitled. very slowly get yourself on top, which everything's I did fresh not for about six right seconds here, but until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And, you can just and there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, on the ledge. out of sight. And right here, as you can see, I'm being retarded, and in this context, I it's do it very to make fast. And that's gentle, as you can see, get you nowhere. It, but nowhere. Not and why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the and landfill? And if you fall from space, which in you will do things. a lot of times, you're just you're gonna fall <laughs> very low, and it sucks. And this game will make you rage really <laughs> bad. Now this is going to be the, well it's going to be the end of the episode and I'll see you guys in the next episode.